I suppose probably if I had to put it down to one, it'd probably be uh, Fronton in Gran Canaria. Um, I think it has everything for bodyboarding, massive barrels, massive ramps. Um, I can't think of a better wave in the world. It's just like designed perfectly for bodyboarding. Probably be uh, a big smooth air reverse. I think they look really stylish when they're done properly and feel great. If you'd asked me sort of five or six years ago, I'd have probably said Brian Hardy, when, or maybe a bit longer than that, when he was in his prime. I think he was uh, head and shoulders above everybody. Um, I think he slowed down a little, still absolute ripper, but um, I think the best guys at the moment would probably be like uh, Louis Finnegan, maybe George Humphrey. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, those guys I think are pushing. Oh, maybe Pierre Lewis Costez as well. Those guys seem to be pushing it the hardest and best styles. Just surf as much as I can, hang out as much as I can with my family, um, grow my little business that I've recently started. Final message would be just a, a massive thanks to my sponsors. Um, that would be XL Wetsuits, amazing suits, really warm, which you need in the UK, it's bloody cold. Um, Action Sports Distribution, um, Rob there provides me with um, NMG boards, which are amazing, and Stealth Fins, which are brilliant too. Um, section Bodyboarding, uh, which is a UK based um, podcast series uh, which sort of follow riders and, and waves around the UK. Same thing with uh, Biscuit Diaries, well worth checking out if you've uh, got a minute, UK based podcast series. Um, and Boutique, which provide um, nice, cool brands from Australia and around the world to Europe and the UK. Uh, that's Bodyboarding Brands, also. Yeah, nice one. Thanks very much for the interview.